Christian, thank you, brother, for being here. Oh, yeah, dude. Always glad to come in. It's pretty nice. I, I'm yes. hoping to get like a, you know, it last night with all the lights and stuff, it was like quite the mood. Oh, yeah. I was I like, like it. I'm like, oh, this is like the, the cool living room. <laughs> like, yeah, I live here. But, right. um, but no, I was going to ask uh, two things to start. The first one is, uh, did you go to the draft? No, no. I've. Well, don't say it like that. Well, no, no. Well, like it was awesome that it was here, but. Right, right. I've been to, like, I, I went to that, the when the Royals won the World Series, that first parade. Oh, that was nuts. That was a nightmare. I, like, there's like 700, 800,000 people there or something like With, that. Like, and no, sorry, Kansas City, but also like no, nope. no regulation or guidance. They were like, yeah. This just, is the first one we've had since my grandpa or grandpa. Yeah, they like, had no idea what to do. Right. No idea. Oh, it was so, like, I, I think it took us, like me and my buddy, like like two hours to actually get in there and then park. And then probably like three, four hours. It was like 7 p.m. by the time we got home. And we left at like three. Yeah, and you're like, no, not for me. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, like I heard I heard the uh, like the past two Chiefs Super Bowl parades were pretty good, like – like there oh, yeah. wasn't like that big of like, I mean, there was traffic and stuff, but not like as hectic as the Royals and stuff. So I was just kind of like, I just don't want to deal with it. It's going to be shoulder yeah. to shoulder. It's just going to be a headache and whatnot. And, and I, I knew the weekend would TV. be, yeah. you know, like Saturday, Friday. They're like, let's get off work and like go get fucked up. Oh, yeah. And oh, I'm like, yeah. so my I was I've, I've been working late and we work. I work right across from the thing. And so I'm there to like seven yeah, seven seven thirty, and my sister was like, "Let's go," and and we went there. And then I thought we could just cut through. You have to go like all like a mile south, oh. like up the hill, and then hook it over and go through the security and all this stuff. Um, it's super dope in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like a cool thing to say that I went to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was actually more shocked because then people left. They were like, "Fallout Boy is coming up," and like that's all I really wanted to go see. Oh yeah, they had they had uh, people playing, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah, yesterday was I don't know if they you know rained out or whatever because it was raining and all that stuff. It was it was rained yesterday. Yeah, I've, really? I don't. I'll check. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I just I envisioned it rain, oh. but it was um maybe just like a little bit. But Motley Crue and then oh that's who I because I, I was listening to ninety eight nine yeah and they were talking about it and I think they said that so um but. Yeah, no, I was like, because it's like, it was like the first 60,000 or whatever is free. Yeah. Or something like that. It was like, and they were strict. Like, they must have learned from the Royals. Parade. Yeah. Because like, there was just security lined up. It was like, remember in 300 when they had like all the guys and then the guys behind them? Yeah. That was security like, <laughs> no, go around. Gonna... And I'm like, this is, I like this, but also now I have to walk all Forever. the way. Yeah. Um, but the concert was cool. Everything was great. But it was Thursday. So I was like, okay, we'll go Thursday. And then I realized, like, my sister went with me. So it was just us two. Yeah. And after a while, we got there and she's like, you know, I think I'm going to have a beer. And we went up there <laughs> and I look and I go, you, $14. Oh, no. And I was stadium like, priced. <laughs> no, no, yeah. If, if the stadium was like, you know, in California, yeah. you're like, oh, God. <laughs> And so I get up there and I'm like, fine, whatever. And then I'm like, we have two Bud Lights, which is put on the whole thing. They were yeah. like, we're out. What? I go, you're out. I go, what about that right here? It says Bud Light, NFL Draft. You're out of that. And they were like, mm-hmm. And I go, they're taking a hurt. They're like, they're, they're really taking a beating Dang. after this last. <laughs> they hey, were like, we can't not, get beer. Yeah, no. Uh, I guess they just don't know that Kansas City people. Love their Bud Light. Hello, like <laughs> there's if there's three like stereotypes, it's that we all farm wheat, <laughs> we all like wear belt buckles, and we all drink beer all the time. Yeah, like w have the beer there. Yeah, but yeah, come on now. It was a it was a cool experience, but to to witness all of this like activity, it was something that was like really cool to be around. Yeah, because then you know the hotels get a piece. Um all the like businesses that are around there could like park. Yeah. And it could be because I have a different lens, but like there's a way more, just like when I was telling you when you were here the first time, I was like, there's so much talent and stuff in here. Yeah. That's like 
you'd have no idea. And half of the things I saw, I'm like, you're in Kansas City? Mm-hmm. Like, that's so cool that you make this or do that. That's and so, happening here in our hometown kind of thing. Yeah, and it was like, I ho- like that should be, and this was supposed to be the biggest one ever, so yeah. I'm hoping that attention goes there. And anyway, g- good job avoiding it. I just wanted to <laughs> ask if you were there, because I was trying to like check up with people and be like, are you guys going to be there today? I, I knew, a, l- I knew a lot of people who went and whatnot, and they said they had a good time and stuff like that. They, got, yeah. they all got photos with, you know, Pat and Kelsey and stuff like that. What? Yeah. They got photos with them. Yeah. Gosh, next you time, might, you might call have had, me. You might have had to have like a like a special pass or something. Well, I, I'm the, I'm the pass. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you got to get a press pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just go online. <laughs> Make one. Just print it yeah. out. Just don't look too <laughs> close. Don't look too close. I'm, I'm, I'm media. Media. media <laughs> just walk yeah, right exactly. <laughs> I knew that they were at like Mosaic and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they went to like the bar afterwards. But, but no. And then the second thing was. Um, I was there for your first pro fight. I want, <laughs> I couldn't get a good view, but that first little bit, I want, I want you to talk about it if oh, you want yeah. or like yeah, feel, no, feel no, it no, out. Yeah. You know I, what talk, I, mean? I talk about it all the time. Like uh, Zach and some of the guys from the gym give me shit about it. They'll be like, we'll be sparring and they'll be like, they'll uh, get ready. We'll be, will be like a little separation mm-hmm. and then they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Oh, it's coming. I'm just like, oh my god! I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna throw this <laughs> looping right. In. Yeah, <laughs> is that what it was? Was it just like it out was of the a, corner of the eye? It was a right hook. He, um, so I, I had thrown a right hook. It landed, and it. I I almost like shouldn't have thrown that hook because mm-hmm. it kind of knocked him off balance in a way. For that. Yeah, so it like knocked him off balance, and he switches stance. Mm. And then he threw a right hook. And then when he threw the right hook, I threw a left uppercut. Oh, got it. So it was like that's right how come there. My, yeah, that's how come my my arm was dropped so low. And uh, yeah, and he just caught me like straight. It was just right on right right here. I, like mm. the next, not not even the next day, that night, my I had a giant welt oh, on my dude. chin. I was like, oh my God. That's like the only thing that hurts my body. But like, holy fuck. It, it yeah. was like, it was a big old knot. And I didn't know if it was like unorthodox or like it was... You, it was like maybe a confusion in that second where it was like, I'm halfway through something. He's like kind of thrown off because I knew you landed it. Like you said, I knew you landed that solid. And then it was like, maybe he used that momentum to lean and then throw it or something. You know? Yeah, something like it just, it, it just barely knocked him off balance enough to where it just, he made himself switch his stance and then boom. Oh. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. That was my mouth guard flying out. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I was like, what did, uh, I, I don't know. How does it go between those rounds? Like when that happened and it was like, does Zach, like afterwards, did Zach go like way to recover or like, um, uh, cause he's a very solid, like, yeah, no, coach, he, he was, you know? he was, yeah, essentially like way to kind of go into, um, uh, what's it called? like autopilot yeah and whatnot because like once he hit me like my brain just kind of went just grapple because i'm like too stunned to actually yeah like think of like actual strikes to throw and stuff right so it was just like grapple Hold and whatnot on. great someone i wonder if that's mine Cause I I was kind of leaning on my keys. I don't know. Oh no, I think it stopped. Did it stop? Yeah. Okay, maybe it wasn't mine. All right. So I know I dropped my keys in the couch earlier. I don't know. If it <laughs> I'll just zip the pocket. I'll zip the pocket. Yeah. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to make. No, uh, you're good. Don't don't hurt me. I didn't know it was your car. <laughs> I'm like, who the hell? And it's like, he's over here. <laughs> well, and, you know, there's, there's a, I've noticed that there's this when I talk to people who aren't like, so I would, I brought my friend Adam to the fights at Synergy yeah. uh, in Springfield. And I was like, oh, Mason and Ollie. He's like, how do you know? I'm like, I'm telling you, I was with these guys in the gym for a long time. And he's like, wait a minute. And he like starts to like, you can see like his computer processor going. <laughs> he's like, you did that with them? I go, uh-huh. And he's like, 
for a, a, like a lot of times and they go <laughs> yeah for like two and a half years <laughs> and he's like and he had like a new lens he was like i see i see there and he's like well you know <laughs> sorry buddy i have to run it's my show it's like <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a little shit but he was like i think i'd be able to get in there and like <laughs> he's like starts doing some fun work. <laughs> and i was like yeah you should totally come by and luckily he's in oklahoma so he <laughs> but um but yeah so i was because he was there like i said when you know mason and was it dalen yeah yeah it was it's it's tough like because you get close with guys like like i know you i know sam i know all these guys on like a very good level that spectators don't usually like have yeah and so when there's a, a loss or something like that it's it's hard to like like deal with like i found it very difficult for like like i said five to ten minutes yeah. i was like like i was down here like oh dude like what is going yeah i know it's like a what the fuck moment yeah and it's just like my for my first taste of that was that hook <laughs> yeah i was yeah. like <laughs> like like i could feel the heart rate i was like this i'm like like it just like slowly i go i go he, he knows he knows he knows and like having that faith in you i was like it'll be fine and you did yeah and i was like but it, it wasn't nice to get that first one out of the way like, uh, it was it was such a big relief because like going into it there was just a lot of pressure well now so from from the amateur career to that it, did it actually feel different or was it just like people going like you're going into this new thing um, you know it, what i mean it felt different yeah it definitely felt different it was just uh it was more like um this is like real real legit mm -hmm. like it's like this is like this fight's like permanent it's gonna like stay with you forever yeah. kind of thing and um yeah it was it, like yeah just like even talking with Zach and stuff about it and whatnot, like the night before he texted me and he was like, Hey, welcome to be a professional fighter, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. And it's just like, just like a, it kind of hits Why? you. And Why'd it's you like, say that? No. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, if anybody knows, like I said, so you were at the UFC event. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. got to watch Zach do the whole, was it, I mean, was it a head kick that led to no, it ground was, and pound? Or uh, was it? He, he did. I think he did like a, it was so smooth. I remember. I can't remember exactly the. He. The piece. I know he landed a, a like a. He teeped him in the body. Oops, sorry. Uh, he teeped him in the body, and then um, it, that kind of like backed him up to the fence a little bit. Was and it a he, two? Yeah, and he landed a, a two, and uh, or, yeah, he then he switched his stance, landed a two, and then he came back with. Uh, like a, a three two and then that the that second two just rocked the crap out of him yeah and then he started to cover up and that's when zach said he threw a couple uppercuts threw a couple more hooks mm -hmm. he went down and it was just from there he finished i mean and that that's something else too like unless i'm i'm grateful because like as i'm watching like so people who just watch and people who kind of have that's how i really got into this whole thing when i was like watching a fight and I'm like, I can understand what, what's going on. Yeah. Like I could piece together what they're trying to get to. Yeah. And it's very different than being like, Whoa, like waiting for yeah, something. Waiting for something amazing to happen. And it's like, you know, you have to, there's that work that goes into setting something up amazing rather than just like, and then waiting for it. And it also gives you a lens of like, it's not easy. Yeah. So like when you say like a professional UFC vet covers up, it's like, okay. Something's happened. So he got it's rocked. A big, He's it's a big deal. Yeah. And it's not just like, oh, I've been rocked. Like I'm a little woozy. It's like this something, it's something's off. Like because mm -hmm. the mental toughness of like those dudes, because I was hearing the shots from Synergy amateurs. Yeah. And I mean the, like a perfect body. You're like right there. You were like, I felt that in my seat. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, if you were at the UFC, it's like 10 times harder. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, man. There's also that stigma where it's like, oh, these guys are like, it, it's like superhuman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I was like, hey, let's go backstage. Like, talk to these guys. He goes, oh, what are you? We can't just go backstage. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we can, man. Like, <laughs> like they're cool people. And yeah. they're like all wrapped and they're like feeling it out. Like the walk in the cage. 
And I'm like, yeah, just go talk to him. And he's like, yeah, well, hey, guy, hey. I'm like, <laughs> like, a hu- like a human man. Like, yeah. just talk to him like they're a person. <laughs> and it's like, there is that feeling of, you know, any- anything can happen. And yeah. so a big thing was like, I mean, I said before, I was like, I know Trisham is like ready for that that move. But it's like, I was very curious to get you in here and be like, did it feel that different or is it and you're like it's very different yeah just i mean just the pressure going into it and like uh because i i think since that fight i hadn't fought in kansas city for like a year and a half maybe two years or yeah something like that and that you have one been, coming up right yeah june 17th 17. Yeah. um but yeah i hadn't been in kc in a while and i haven't really had like fans there like cheering like right. like i think in springfield like i had some friends that already lived down there that were down there and stuff like that and uh they're cheering me up cheering me on pretty hard but like one like this fight like i walked out and i was like oh this is you were like this oh. is yeah is it, that was almost more pressure wow. than the fight itself it, like the roar of the crowd i was like yeah. oh wow right that's a lot of people cheering me on tonight and stuff like that and uh even when they're calling my name out in the the ring and stuff and everyone went crazy i was like oh it's yeah, it, kind of thing. it would it, it it that is something that I got to talk to uh Kendrick in here, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, you know, I f- it's something that eats at you, like, you know, pe- there's a difference between oh, I could I you know I could totally I probably survive in there, and I'm like, but quiet, no, you <laughs> no, like, just cu- and there's little little things that you know, like a, you know it took me forever to stop the. Like get hit and then yeah. I'm like, like it's a, a reflex you have to like train out of, mm-hmm. and then it's like bam and you have to force you to keep the eyes open. Yeah, and it's like that's just good partners. Yeah, that's good training. That's good coaches who watch and they're like, don't yeah. watch it with that guy. Like, and that's the cool thing about Zach. The cool thing about Trey is like I've been to both, and they're both very honest when it comes to like this is a fighting place. Yeah. But I don't want this the guy. I don't want I don't want Trisham to kill you. Yeah. Like there, <laughs> it, it's this thing. I shared this post that was like, you know, I want to level you up, so then you get to this level, and then you surpass me. So now I have to kind of. But guess what? We both are rising, yeah, at, both the rising at the same time. Yeah. So it's not that like I'm always want to be like on top and then keep you all down. It's like that does me no good. It just strokes my ego. Mm-hmm. And. You know, that's part of the, the gig is like, like I said, being in that place, the uncomfortable place, and then also learning to level it up. That's that's something that you have to like, just like a reflex, like mm-hmm. learn to, that's okay. Yeah. I'm here for this. You know what I mean? Like, just like you with that pro fight in that, that moment, you were like, okay. Yeah. Like, we're in the show. Like, it's just, it's something that I don't think, I, I they get now, mm-hmm. which is something super cool. That like you and these guys who were like, oh, this is just, this is just like a fighter. It's like, yeah, but they got like stories and like, they will tell you what they're going through, what's in it. Like, they're not, they're not like, <laughs> that's why like when I had Nick in here, I was like, everyone thinks you're just some Greek god asshole because <laughs> you don't talk. <laughs> you got, like you're ripped. And I remember <laughs> I had a, uh, so all that stuff that we, we just got, it's yeah. like, you know, merch, t-shirts, hats, and so start being able to, like, make things on a mass level, Mm -hmm. and I showed him a picture, I was like, yeah, Nick was in here, and he's like, oh, I've never seen, like, so much excitement, his name's Tanner, he was like, I watched that guy, like, he was like, (laughs) I know he's a murderer, and I'm like, yeah, but you haven't been, like, next to him when Trey is going through something, and he's like, he's like, (laughs) like, he just, like, goes, hey, man, I'm just like, let it go and i'm like <laughs> shut up like we're gonna get in trouble like this is like third grade you know and then of course he was notorious that's what trey would be like you guys done i'm like it's him i'm like it's, not, <laughs> it's him not me. i'm trying I'm, I'm listening and so it's it's cool to be able to like give that side mm-hmm. and um i don't know it just is something that i never thought i'd like be able to do yeah um and like i said i We've done this a few times, and I didn't have my shit down. Now <laughs> we got it down. We're good. We're I, good everything's go. going. Good I, to the, go. It's all good now. It's like dialed in. So now I can get it, make it, and do it. So you said seventeenth. Yeah, June seventeenth. Yeah. What? Give me some text. 
tickets. Oh yeah, oh yeah, tickets. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I and got then, you. I got you. Um, and then of course, like I said, we'll we'll be there, like straight. Hopefully, I don't distract you. <laughs> Chris, bro, like, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? Watch that. <laughs> Watch the right hook. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm safe over here outside of it. Um, but like, so now that you're in this. You know, now it's pro. And I was looking, I went through the Instagram, and I'm like, oh, yeah, one and a pro. Like, that's, it's a good accomplishment. So, mm-hmm. congratulations, Thank brother. you, bro. Thank you. Thank I, you. I, and we, I don't know if we ever, did, did we ever discuss how you got into, and like, so we had the rugby talk, right? Yeah. And we got into, like, that's how we kind of led into here. Uh-huh. But Zach got to talk at Synergy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've, I've talked to him in, like, little blips. And... I'll get him in here and him and Chris said they'd come in and do something like this. Yeah. Which is, I could talk to them for probably three hours straight. Oh yeah. Um, both of them. I mean, I was talking, they Chris, both got probably tons of stories. Oh dude. Tons. I, I'm so looking forward to it <laughs> just because like, yeah, the stories, but also like, it's really cool that, you know, there's certain shows that do like talks and they like ask like stupid questions of, that are so specific that they don't get into any of that stuff. Yeah. But even through those interviews, when I watch Zach, I'm like, I think this is the nicest human I've ever like met yeah. who could also like samurai cut off the head. <laughs> exactly, you know? exactly. And so it's like a giant teddy bear, but actually a grizzly bear. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I remember <laughs> when I was first going in like 2020, I think it was like, must have been like someone big, like maybe JW or someone. And his lesson for <laughs> keep your hands up, because it was like you done, I think it was five rounds. And five, five minute rounds at the last one, it was like 30 seconds and they came down and it was like a very gentle, but also stern, like foot slap in the face. That was like, I wouldn't do that. I'd keep your hands up. I think. And he's like, I will now <laughs> like kind of set in like, okay. But I'm like, there's, there's not, I'm glad that like he's in your corner mm-hmm. and that same level of like commitment to you guys is super like beneficial and as i'm watching your guys's careers grow i'm like yeah i think there's something more than just you know keeping that <laughs> getting rid of the ego basically yeah and i'm yeah. like not i'm not saying he kicks you all in the face that's uh-huh. not what i'm saying to, hey keep that check and like kick you in the face but you do need that level to get where you're going and i mean where where is that for you like are you looking like ah ufc and i guess you know like do you guys have, are you in this journey to, to ride it out? Or do you have like a oh no like strategize? I'd, I mean, I want to get to the the top level I can get at. Like, yep. um, I mean, like a lot of people like are in the sport for different reasons and stuff like that. And yeah. like I want to, like my goal is to make money doing this. Of like course. I, like, okay. I, like that is like, like, I mean, I love fighting and stuff like that, but yep. I'm like relatively a nice dude. Like, yeah. I don't like I'm not like Nick Diaz choking people choking people out in the street what, yet. What is that? What I, I have no I have no idea what that is about. I think he just likes it too. Or much. like or like Jorge like going and like uh Finding uh, was it or, Kobe? Yeah, he uh, he uh like what, what he I think hit he him. fought him at a club. Yeah, he like hit him once or something, ran away or something like that. Like <laughs> Dude. Like it just kinda gives all MMA fighters a bad name and stuff. Yeah, but, well I, I still remember the guy who was on that ultimate fighter with I think it was with Zach. Remember who? No, 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 no. Um, it was the one who went crazy and like got super plastered in Vegas, like busted a limo window and was like, "I'm a UFC oh. fighter" because he had made it like through to the oh, end. Okay. And then uh, they were like, "Yeah, well, you're not gonna fight." And he's <laughs> like, "I won every." They're like, "Yeah, but you're a fuckhead." Yeah. Like, why would we? We don't want you. And he's yeah. like, <laughs> and you went. He went from like it was like a 24 hour block. It was like I'm the shit drunk and then now he's like i'm not the shit anymore cameras on him he's like <laughs> <laughs> i'm like okay yeah and so it's just that wait you fight to you fight for money well uh, like no. yeah <laughs> like, i mean no way well like obviously like i want to make i want to like if it's like between like an organization kind of thing and yeah. maybe an or- one organization is like more like renowned or more famous than the other one but they're mm-hmm. not going to pay me as much yeah i'm gonna go with the place that's gonna pay me more it's a good proper of representation of the effort the skill everything you've put right. into it right and like i'm putting my 
like my own like well-being on the line yeah and stuff like that's for like other people's entertainment Mm -hmm. and stuff even though i i enjoy doing it i should be reimbursed properly for it well duh and whatnot it's just like i don't like and well it's the same way again when when michael michael chandler first came into the scene he was like everything at bellator and i'm like Mm -hmm. i don't think he was struggling for money definitely wasn't because i remember the first like what is it, the UFC embedded or whatever it is, they follow you? Yeah. I was like, this is your home? And I'm looking around, and I'm like, okay. Like, they're talking to him, and I'm like, is that granite stairs? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't think he's hurting for cash, but it's no. like he wanted that next level of actual combat. To be honest, I thought he was going to go. Like, he was just going to boom, 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 and then yeah. so did they. If mm-hmm. you couldn't tell, they were like, all right, you're fighting number two. Yeah, <laughs> well, nothing. in all his fights now in the UFC, it's either it's just a – He's just like I mean they're paying him really well. Like oh, he's for getting sure. paid really well. Like he's getting paid more than he did at Bellator for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean that's just because he already had a name coming in. Cuz if you already have a name coming in, they're just going to pay you money. Yeah, you're not going to you're not going to get the uh the the start out pay. No, 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 like no. That. Well, you're bringing millions with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and I see I don't know how I like that either. Cuz you know, I mean Jake Paul is the like top example. Yeah, but the more I'm watching some of these, like like Michael Chandler, like they had a name outside, said, "Hey, we'll give you the competition and the money because we have the production team and all this stuff mm-hmm. to like really hone in, put you in front of not only the people that follow you but also like 30 million online." Yeah, and it's like okay, and you know, good solid dude, always like, I mean, not always in shape, but like, it's very committed to the thing he's doing but it's just i don't know if i like that because they just bought the wwe right yeah yeah the uh business uh, like the business side is so it's not like it's gonna be like merging together yeah but like it'll be like like i'm assuming here soon it'll be like ufc pipe pass will also have like wwe and stuff like that or like they're just like combining that so like wwe wwe doesn't go under or and like they still get views and whatnot i mean it's like i said from a business side it's not good but then there's that there's that always that question where it's like because i don't know if you know this guys but wwe is scripted yeah (laughs) yep i I found that out in seventh grade and i'm super disappointed (laughs) (laughs) i i i remember i was 18 or 19 and one of my managers yeah, he w- and he was, like, very smart with, like, certain aspects of life. But then he was, like, I remember one day, I'm in the lunchroom just eating. I'm, like, okay, it's just a Monday, thinking to myself. And he goes, what? Well, he's an Indian guy. He's, like, WWE, baby, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> and I was, like, I'm, like, that's funny. I'm like, cool. He goes, no, I'm serious. He's, like, 42 at the time. And I'm, like, it's fake. And he goes, no, it isn't. Like dead, ass, like dead ass looking at me, like it's not. What? And I go, yes, it is. And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, you don't know anything. He's like, you're, you kid, you come. On. They're jumping from things. They do. I go, it's fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we, we, I swear, we probably fought my entire lunch break. He was fully committed to believing it was real. And I'm like, look at this video. And I'm showing him. He's like, well, look, he got him right there. Look at the blood. And I'm like. No. They like Scripted, they like man. yeah they yeah they put like razor blades in their little like tape on the wrist and they pull them out they cut themselves they it's put insane back in. yeah they're like yeah. oh I'm I'm down I I'm- mean I mean like the stuff they do is like real mm-hmm. but it they're not actually like if they're throwing a punch at each other they're not actually hitting each other right they're throwing like a kick or a knee they're not actually like landing it. They're yeah. like pulling it the last second or they're like preemptively blocking it or yeah. something like that. Scripted. Yeah, yeah, it's scripted. Or like, I don't know. I've, I Maybe maybe it's just because I'm so evolved. <laughs> but also, I've never seen someone go to throw an elbow and then stomp at the same time. Right. Mm. Yeah, to make the whole entire <laughs> ring shake. Yeah, so there's, you're a, like, there's usually, a noise. <laughs> yeah, usually they get hit and then the whole cage goes because of how hard the punch was. Yeah. They don't go yeah. like, And then they Gah. drop because it's an actual an elbow hitting you yeah and whatnot like is that a new is that a new aspect for this that's like foreign like going from amateur and like i know certain states like if you're an amateur they go knees elbows yeah completely for it was uh, like i mean like we worked them in practice and stuff like i didn't have like knee pads or elbow pads Mm -hmm. uh i do now 
um and holy crap like like uh, zach's actually kind of like requiring us now Mm -hmm. at north to wear knee pads elbow pads if you're a pro wear elbow pads but if you're like amateur everybody like wear knee pads yeah yeah yeah. and so so we can get used to throwing them and um like ever since i got knee pads and elbow pads all i do is throw knees and elbows and like sparring just in drilling and stuff like that like yeah if zach gives us a combo like i'll do the combo but then i'll like think of it in a different way with like right. a knee or an elbow and i'll just do that combo in there and it like it helps so much now i'm just doing it all the time and i'm like holy crap like i'm such a, a different fighter now do another one no i'm good, I'm good. okay um but yeah no it, it completely changed the way i fight and well, i was gonna ask that too because you can still like you can throw knees to the body and whatnot but it's just like, well, for you, your elbow is like probably the extension of mine. Yeah. <laughs> so you're probably like, nah, it's actually shorter. It's actually kind of nice. And it's like, yeah, I mean, they're already right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've always wondered that going into it, like more terrified of someone who has experience throwing those. But I think it's that framework. It's the base of all of the stuff you learned. And then you were like, oh, now it's just adding one new card. Mm-hmm. I'm not adding like 17,000. Because yeah. now I get to like slowly work into that, and now it becomes natural that you have now. Mm-hmm. Um, I, that's always been kind of weird to me, actually, because I'm like, yeah, go get them. And I remember one time, it was I can't remember who, but it was someone's like professional debut, and I think they threw an elbow and missed, and I was like, hey, like I was like, you can't. And I go, wait a minute, oh, it's pro. Uh, yeah, they can well, do I'll, that. <laughs> my bad. Hold on. Keep going. I'm like, that's that's fine, but. I always saw people with the elbow pads and the knee pads. Uh-huh. And I'm like, is it because it's just repetition over and over? You don't want to actually like damage? Uh, or is it, do you want to hurt the other person? It's just so you don't cut them. Mm. That's like the only, that's like the only reason. Um, I mean, obviously, so you like, I mean, having just because there's a pad on it doesn't mean it's like, it feels any softer hitting you. It's still an elbow. Yeah, it's still <laughs> an elbow. It's still a knee. Like even like with your gloves, like it's still like, a fist coming at you yeah and stuff so like i mean we just have to pull it a little bit we can't throw it too hard like not trying to hurt them um but that i mean that when you're when you have the elbow pads on and stuff you're obviously a pro you obviously know what you're doing you can you you can judge whether or not your that elbow is going to actually knock them out or like seriously hurt them or something like that so you can at that level you should be able to, to judge that and i mean they're mainly there just so you don't get cut yeah I mean, that's also, like I said, it's it's very, like, smart going into that um, to, to have those. I've always wondered. I was like, I thought, <laughs> I used to think it was for rehab. <laughs> I was like, oh, they must have, like, gotten really hurt on, like, one elbow pad or something. Like, ah. I'm like, no, they're practicing using it yeah. as they work into, into this. Mm-hmm. I also got a lot, because um, on the video we did, it said natural grappler. Yeah. And they were like, I remember like messaging to some people and they're like, yeah, no, he's cool. And they, yeah, I had him on this and that. And they're like, yeah, his grappling's really good. And I'm like, yeah, but he has hands. Yeah, I got hands too. He has hands too. <laughs> and they were like, no, we know that. We just didn't expect, I don't know if it's because the tall guys, they don't expect him to grapple. I mean, I usually if I run into a, call, a tall guy, if I'm training with them or something like that, I'm like, oh, he's probably pretty annoying jujitsu wise. Yeah. <laughs> but he probably can't wrestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, or maybe he, maybe he can wrestle, but he's not going to be that that great at it. Like yeah. you might like the only thing that like you like should be expecting is like them to clinch up with you and try to like trip you or something like that. That's right. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, usually because I feel like they're shorter and stuff, they're going to shoot in on you for like a single or double leg or something like that. Agreed. I. I mean, I it, it makes more sense because, I mean, like being a tall guy and shooting in on someone that's like shorter than me or something like that, it's a it's a pain. Well, yeah, I, I mean, you so have to annoying. like yeah, literally I gotta, drop. I got to drop a lot <laughs> <laughs> to, to get down to shoot on a guy who's like 5'8 or something, 5'9 or something like that. So, but um, yeah, no, it just, uh, just kind of, I expect them to be just more on the striking side and then being really annoying with jujitsu. Yeah. I don't have to worry about the wrestling too much. Um, did you, did you get a promotion recently? No. Um, I, did someone get, I know I got, I mean, I got like two stripes. I'm still a white belt. That is insane to me, dude. I'm, I, I would say I'm a blue belt by now, but I just don't, I just don't go to gi class all the time and stuff. I really focus just on 
uh, MMA grappling. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, like I said, that was something that was really key into, because it was like, if you did the jujitsu after the MMA class, it was the, it was like MMA grappling, but then it was also like the 10 steps after that would be like for a gi. Yeah. And you were like, I get it. It's like, because in MMA, you're also getting hit in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't punch you in jujitsu. Right. I mean, it's combat. There's just like, slap, but. like with the gi and stuff, it, it, it takes your athleticism out of you and you, you have, you have to, it forces you to be more technical Yeah, and to use your, not just the power out of things and stuff like that. I mean, you can sometimes, but mm -hmm. a lot of times you have to be technical about it right. in jujitsu. Because if you're going up against a guy in a round who's more technical than you, you're going to get messed up if you try to muscle through muscle through things and stuff like that. Yeah. And just try to be an athlete. Like, But like when you're going in like nogi and whatnot, you can muscle out and be an athlete because yeah. you don't have this giant pajama suit <laughs> and yeah. stuff weighing you down and whatnot. But and then when it comes to MMA grappling, if you get in a weird spot, you can just start punching them in the face. Yeah, yeah. And then it causes them. There's nothing them. to grab either. Yeah, no, yeah. It's just like no gi. There's no. I mean, like you'd have to like some just grab like lace an arm or like grab the back of their head or something like that. It's or, more. I, I think it's like, more. And that's where I really like doing the the more MMA grappling because you were like at least for me I was like if if this is like a public setting or like someone's actually out I'm not gonna be like excuse me. Um, are you going to keep the jacket? Yeah. <laughs> I, I might use it to pull and like wrap. Like that's not what I'm going to do. It's like when you have like, you know, like when you take the back, you can grab a shoulder blade. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's very strong mm -hmm. compared to being like, can I grab that shirt of yours? And you're like, yeah, and it'll move around and yeah. stuff like that and whatnot. But it's also, like I said, you can, when I was watching Synergy 6, I'm over here like, here's the cage. <laughs> I'm like close and I'm like hitting the table like, Neon belly, yeah. Okay, wrist wrap, grab it, yeah, side. <laughs> and I remember Ollie was going, I'm like this, side now. And <laughs> side, go to the side. And he like, perfect transition to side. And he was like, he, he. And I'm like, oh, you can punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. Well, and then when you punch people, it it allows uh, like more positions to open up. Well, yeah, because there's like, I got hit. You have that gap of time. Yeah. Yeah. Or if like, if uh, they're like doing a good job of like covering up and they're like on turtle or something and you hit them with a couple good strikes, they're going to maybe move their hand in a different spot yes. and you can slide an, an arm through and try to choke them or something like that. Like, I mean, and this stuff it's, always opens up. And you guys are very good at rec. You guys are very quick. Like I remember it. That was my, that was my learning curve. Cause I was like, okay, I'm seeing like the beginning things. And I can feel what's happening, mm -hmm. but to actually set something up, I it took me forever to actually like get that person. It's human chess. Yeah. So to get that person to give something up, because, you know, when you're doing MMA rounds, it's like, okay, yes, I have gloves and maybe I hit here, hit there, but I'm not like actually hitting you with all like a yeah. hundred, like you a, know, in a fight fight. It's just, and so it's like, it's not, when I say gap of time, it's probably like they hit like, oh shit. Another second goes by, and then they're like, okay, now I have to keep that there. But you were thinking, I hope they move that there. Mm -hmm. It's just different. And so learning to set things up, that's really the hard part. And you guys are, especially you, you're very proficient and very fast at recognizing that. Mm -hmm. So I understand when you say, I'll just be annoying with jiu-jitsu, punch, punch, punch. And you're like, you you shit. <laughs> you're like, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> did you, um, in that pro fight, you, did you uh, take his back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I tried actually landing an elbow before he turned over on me. Yeah. But um, it didn't. I think my elbow hit the cage. And then because uh, we were like right up against the cage and I was coming down. And a lot of the times when you throw elbows from ground and pound, you really don't want to like over exaggerate it. You kind of yes. want to post up on their hands and, and just kind of drop. Yeah, just drop it. Mm -hmm. and um that was just another because i didn't really i mean like i kind of would show because i didn't have knees and elbow pads for right. the training camp so like i would just kind of show it in like our drills and stuff but i never really got like the actual flow and technique down of it so but yeah in in the fight i i remember max he's uh he he he's fought a couple times. He wants to fight some more, mm -hmm. uh, but he helps Zach out with a lot of stuff. It's okay, yeah. He works the front desk at North too. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But uh, yeah, I remember him yelling elbows, elbows, and that's when I was like, oh, let me throw an elbow. Oh shit! And I, I was forgot. like, oh, let me, and I did it the wrong way, and sh- sure enough, my elbow hit the cage, and it turned more into like it like kind of popped my yeah. arm straight, and it landed more like a punch. Yeah. And uh, and then right after that, his corner said uh, turn o- like turn over because they knew I was just going to start ground and pounding and stuff like yeah. that. And, uh, yeah, he turned over. I was just instantly like, oh, I, I'm already, I'm still stunned from you rocking me. So I, yeah. I don't want to take any chances. This is getting larger. Gonna, yeah. Like, yeah. You're yeah. watching this More new thing. More swelling. <laughs> you were like, what is this? Is that my beard sticking out part <laughs> But, yeah, no, I, I just uh, took his back. Uh, I didn't have my arm underneath his neck or anything like that i just had it like right under the jaw yeah and uh I don't which know if still you've sucks ever, yeah I don't it know still if you've sucks been in that position but uh it's i mean it shoves your jaw back into your throat and stuff like that like in the photo it's actually kind of cool because you can tell how hard i'm squeezing on his face because mm-hmm. the blood circulation stops <laughs> oh, and no. it's like like where my like from his cheekbone up to his like forehead was like bright red and oh, everything dude. else down was like white yeah and stuff so i was just like yeah well i had a good squeeze on him so yeah and i was like in there i was like i was almost about to pass out because i was squeezing so hard yeah because I, I i was like i shouldn't have done this i held my breath when i was choking him oh so no. yeah so i was just like and i was <gasps> already had a lot yeah <laughs> it was just like a giant like oh sorry <laughs> ran out of breath but yeah no but luckily <laughs> you he, both uh, pass out <laughs> that'd be a first <laughs> double submission <laughs> they're like wait hold on they were like i think he did it after it trisha still got it <laughs> but yeah i mean it's not fun at all and like no, i said yeah. I, have, I have my beard long because it's like my chin's way up here mm-hmm. so like this is just show <laughs> so so if you think you're going to like sink it you're like oh we gotta wave through the the amazon yeah, yeah. and then and then i'm like i can at least get it tucked in but even then i remember i was like i'll just keep my head down they can't get in there and then it was like uh no. yeah. and they started to pull sideways and i'm like it's back it's this way i'm like how long can i ride there it like was yeah. that long. I was like, it's not. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. And I, it, I don't know if it was more of a neck. Like as you do that, you're pulling it's, down. And it's around. a little bit both. It's yeah. a little bit of both. And so it's not like, you know, when that when you ha- when you had that too. I also heard people going like, he's gonna go out. And I was like, from the TV, I could see that it was mostly on the. It was on his chin. On his yeah. chin. I'm like, he's not gonna pass out. And they were like, what? And then he tapped, and they were like, we told you. There's like drunk <laughs> women over there. They're like, we told you he's gonna do it. And I'm like. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm like, maybe I didn't see it right, but it's it's still understanding and knowing that, other than taking the breath. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's just that learning experiences, learning yes. experiences. And like I said, you're still. I mean, he wasn't very tall. No, he was like five eight. Yeah, maybe he made he made me feel tall. Yeah, he was, was like, he was a, he was a shorter dude. Um, and I'm surprised, like, because when I shot that, I've never shot a more perfect takedown in my life. <laughs> you got that, him the yeah, shortest that was, guy ever. <laughs> yeah, that was the most perfect takedown I've ever shot ever. You know, like, uh, even like that. I think that was probably one of the first things, like, uh, Zach and uh, my corner guy Alex McGowan mm-hmm. uh, told me. They're like, "Holy shit." I don't think I've ever seen you do a takedown that good. <laughs> that was so smooth, man. You were I was like, like that was a. I guess I couldn't really show off my striking that that fight, but I could show off my grappling a little bit. And well, and something else you were showing, I was on the. I remember seeing before that fight. It was the. It was your Instagram video with Zach, and it was doing pad work. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, technical. But then you showed the video of like you fucking, fucking it up. up. Yeah. And I'm like, and I just you know, you're like fuck. <laughs> like he, but guess who's calm zach's like yeah come on you know like and of course it's like yeah it takes a lot of practice man yeah like he doesn't just have hands and then i was like i said i was talking to kendrick and he's like oh, i re- i used to wrestle like my whole career and i'm like you know how to wrestle mm-hmm. i'm like when he's like since i was in middle school and i'm like tell that to someone else so if we yeah. get this thing i it's just the same thing it's that there's things that you like to do Mm -hmm. and striking was always something that was for me felt very very fun Mm -hmm. like i like to obviously look at my fucking room i like to be creative and so like 
And the more that you grow on that, it's the the per- the perfect quote for fighting. And I try to use this as much as I can when people who go, they're like, I don't get it. Why do they fight? I don't understand. I'm like, it's the perfection of like never achieving that perfect level of fighting. Mm-hmm. Like you're never going to be, per- you can be proficient. Yeah. Of course, of course. You can always be like, I know how to do these things. But there's always new things to yeah, learn and grow always from. Yeah, there's something to yeah learn from and whatnot. And that's like what I love most about the sport is because I can. There's I'm never gonna get bored ever. There's yeah. always gonna be something I'm gonna uh, be able to learn and stuff like that. Like I mean, like with other sports, like with rugby, like I loved that sport so much, but I got mm-hmm. to a point where I was like. I'm not really learning anything new and I just started to get bored with it. Yeah. So I was like, let me find something else new to do and then boom, MMA. Literally can't run out of turn things to down. learn and stuff. Hey, Bob, come here. But Here, bring uh, it here. Yeah, turn that down. I heard that from here. Turn that volume down. <laughs> you better... I don't, this, is, this is what you're going to do after we're done. You'll be like this. Hey, Dad. I just, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Um... And, uh, like, again, thanks for coming in today. You know, we, it's 47 minutes, dude. Really? Holy crap. Damn. We're talking from 47? Man, I love this shit, dude. <laughs> Time like, just flies. <laughs> it does. It's, uh, there's, always, there's always these, like, moments when, like, I look down. I'm like, 47 minutes? Because there's moments with you guys that I'm like, like, <laughs> we would go outside the parking lot. The class is over. And I'm like, oh, we'll just talk for, like, five, ten minutes. And then it's like... You see the gym lights turn off. You're like, oh, what time is it? You're like, nine o'clock. It's been oh, an hour. Out here. I'm like, someone should have to record this. Yeah. Ping. <laughs> like, I got it. I got it. And I was I was working all the way into the the striking in that video because have you done like any kind of like Muay Thai or any like striking specific? Are you serious? No, I the closest thing I did was karate when I was like, uh, probably like. From third grade to fifth grade mm. or some something like that. I was like a three stripe white belt in karate. But I was also like a little kid. Watch yeah. <laughs> I mean it I mean it kinda pays off now. I uh it kinda gave me uh because uh, like when you learn things as a kid, it transfers with you through life. Like uh, right. more specifically with uh athletics. Yeah, something with muscle memory. And yeah, like getting yeah. It down early. Yeah, yeah. Like my, because my parents put me in uh, gymnastics when I was like five or six or that something like that. That explains a lot. Oh. <laughs> I see those pictures of you and Sam, just like. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm like <laughs> gymnastics. <That's> it. <laughs> it's still in his 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 five year old. <laughs> this five year old like ripped Trisham as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do those rings easy, <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> For me, I was like, I use these muscles, the video games. Muscles. Oh, yeah. I use those, too. I use those, too. <laughs> Dude, I get so lost. And then I have to, like, I feel like a child as an adult. I'm like, I set a timer. I'm like, one hour. And I put oh, it down. I'm like, for real. Like, especially just going from, like, if I, like, get on from, like, landscaping all day. Mm-hmm. And I have, like, an hour and a half before I have to go train all night. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I can uh, play video games for, like, an hour. get 30 mm-hmm. minutes to get ready. Mm-hmm. Are, you, uh, are you a PlayStation, Xbox? Xbox, Xbox. <laughs> I have a PlayStation, but it's just a play, play, oh, PlayStation 4. Oh, yeah. I have a PS4. So. Oh, okay. I anyway. got, well, I have an Xbox One X or whatever. All right, uh, get out of here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, you're like, I've got a spare PS5 if you want. I'm like, oh, I'll take it. You can watch I, it. I just, I just like Xbox more. It's more, uh, I, it's I, better. I, I get uh, better uh, like multimedia. Yeah. Of it. It, it, I feel like it flows a little bit better than uh playstation and that's something but. that plugs into you guys too and i think it's just it's part of it's good to see it in him but i have to cut it off mm-hmm. is that like right now he's working on that game he can't even hear me um and he does it and i was asking him like why do you play this so like much like intently like you want to focus on it and it's it's the same goal oriented like thing underneath it's like i'm so close to beating it and i'm like that is a very, and as a, the dad, I'm like, that's a healthy thing to have. Mm-hmm. Let's not use video games and like try to supplement some of this stuff. Yeah. And so, you know, he really likes doing um, 
boxing. So like when I'd be at shoot, they'd have the kids boxing. Mm-hmm. But he's also very cocky as a little <laughs> kid because he, he immediately comes out and he's like, "I can box." <laughs> and he was, I'm like, "Oh, you can!" After like doing an hour and a half class, I'm, and he's like, "Yeah, watch this." He's like, "One, two, three. He goes, and he put it perfect. And I was like, "I think we have a vessel. Like, I think I can <laughs> even you can transfer." Yeah, I was like, "Let's take that." ds away and give you some gloves oh, yeah. and it's the one thing where he, he really enjoyed it and so like as i'm getting to watch like which you have a very good like background in striking mm-hmm. to the point where i for real thought you had done at least muay thai because the base is solid again that could be rugby and then like so the base is solid which allows for not you know like really gr- gripping and like really you know throwing all of that it's like very loose relaxed like tight yeah. and i'm watching and i was like i wonder if he does have any other background and muay thai was something that when i got into i was like i really thought i was going to go in there i'm like i've been in the mma like it's 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 very very different in the way that you like hold yourself mm-hmm. and so it's like that ba- unbalanced and like when i first started i was very unbalanced it's like a it's like like muay thai is like almost um like a like a counterbalance. Yes. That makes sense. Perfect. Like you're throwing, you're throwing one thing and you're coming back with the other side. Right. That makes sense. You're always, you're going like, if you're throwing your right hook, you're throwing like a left body kick. Yes. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. It's like, it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I, I, I didn't even pick up on like that balance aspect. Cause like, it's so simple, but like, I would like go to like tie my shoe and like pick my leg up and I'm like ooh, wobbly on that side. What if you have to like throw that, like you said, left kick, that you're allowed to hold it. And Mm -hmm. so I'm like, if you do that, someone's going to grab it and take it. And it may be very different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're hungry there. I got Lunchables for you in there. I I thought of you, I thought of you dog. (laughs) And, um, it's just that there's also like, it's, I don't know. I can't tell you exactly what they are, but they're like fighter specific muscle groups that like have been used. And so (laughs) when I see people like, doing something and they're like see i could totally handle myself i'm like you're using all the wrong parts mm-hmm. like it's very different and the the muay thai aspect helped at least for me with the like balance because i would always throw like a kick right so like you you have a solid base so your kicks are always hard they land and they're flush right mine was like very back mm-hmm. so i was like not utilizing the whole like being steady and i'm like if i do that they're gonna grab it mm-hmm. or they're going to just, they literally could just push me. Yeah. And I'm like, that was something I need to, to, to learn and to develop. Um, but I've really gotten into it because like I watched Ollie do it. I watched, um, I'm, I'm not, not used specifically. I don't think, but, um, like they'll do the thing where they get down. Like after, after it's over, they'll get down. Like, thank you very much. It's very respectful. It's not like, mm-hmm. oh, like I get it. Like I understand that's exciting moment, but, um, like there's a very good level of respect and like that ego's down. Mm-hmm. I'm like, God, I'm so blessed to like be somehow connected into this thing. Yeah. And as I was talking through this, they were like, I think you get it. I think you should try. Like, try one. Like, you're gonna get someone who's like O and O or like one yeah. fine under the belt. And I'm like, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, do it, man. Do it. It's do good. it. I'll be the devil on your shoulder. Do it. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. That's do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um and so like i said i don't know when do you guys do uh, your classes at north um so or are you pro specific no so they have pro practice in the mornings i just can't go to that all the time because of my landscaping job in the morning but yeah. here next week just for like the fight camp and whatnot i'll be going in like tuesday thursday mornings and stuff like that that's but that's... um yeah so uh they have pro practices 10 a.m uh monday through friday uh and then in the evenings monday wednesday friday it's seven to eight okay um which is just more more like just like a striking class wednesday we spar okay um and then uh tuesday and thursday night we have our mma focused classes okay and so usually tuesday tuesday is more of a striking mma and then thursday usually more wrestling mma Got but it. sometimes we just mix them up a bit both sometimes it's just whatever well it's but. nice that you go, like it's it's 
they're very they're separate op and north but it's like the the fact that you guys can go back and forth mm-hmm. like, i think it's very very helpful oh like, yeah there's a different not that like one's better than the other but there everyone has some kind of different there's thing a, they bring well and that's just i feel like with every single gym not just specifically north and op yeah like if you go to every single gym like just the way the 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 head coach coaches mm-hmm. everyone mm-hmm. At, like if you look at every single fighter they're all different. Like when they throw their jab, it's always different. Like their defense is always different. Like mm-hmm. what they do is always different. So when those people go and start their own gyms, they put that, what what their knowledge and what their technique is onto their students yeah. and their students just replicate that mm-hmm. and just do like, like the, like, I feel like a lot of the guys at OP, they all kind of have that aspect of Trey yeah. where they're, they're, they're like a fucking samurai ghost and shit on the feet. Nice. And then they, and then they're also a wrestling savage or in jujitsu savages. Yeah. Which and is stuff like that. Well, the cra- that's, what's crazy to me that you were like, nah, I just, I'm a white belt. And I was like, what the, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. Cause they'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, Trisha, here you are. And then here's chase. I'm like, have my white belt. I'm like, hi. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, no, 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 no. Very, very different. And it's just like there is that level where um, that's where I had to grow. Like mm-hmm. it was really like understanding that that's a whole another side. And it's not just like you know, the robots like duke them out. Like it's not just like, oh, better, that better better. <laughs> you're good. Um, but no, hold on. Um, but yeah, he, he trains a lot with us and he'll come in sometimes and shoot like photography and whatnot i know for zach's fight they had he had some guys uh guy come in and do it same with mikey he had some people come in okay yeah whatnot. It, that, that was something that also kind of intrigued me i just didn't know the level of like if it of like allowability i guess yeah no yeah you're at, like yeah always welcome because there's some uh there's some cool things that like i said i had josh and i have blake in here and to, I'm gonna send this to him. By the way, you okay, know, right. you remember Rooted? Yes, yes, yes. yes. You were like, oh, I know them. I'm like, yeah, yeah they they're yeah. shocked that it's still like known. And I'm oh, like, yeah, everyone knows Dude. about them. I'm like, you had everybody, like, yeah. and <laughs> it was just they made my funny. they made my first uh, little highlight video for my first fight at FAC, my first amateur one. They made it pretty cool. Yeah, and I was like, we should get back to that. Yeah, I was like, yeah. They were like, yeah, Let's get do back it. to it. All Jeez. right. All right, team. <laughs> yeah. It's Captain America. That's me. Avengers Assemble. You know, like we're getting the team back. Oh, yeah. Team's getting back together. Baby. And so it's like all that stuff is like really helpful. And mm-hmm. not just on a side of like for us being able to make it or like to show that we can. That's part of the same reason like you guys fight. Like mm-hmm. we love that so much that that's the thing that keeps driving it. But like when everything, if everything else shows up, like we were talking about. You know, I was like, of was sarcasm, but like, oh, you fight for money. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, but like the base is that I love to do it so much that that comes after. Yeah. And there's got to be like a certain aspect that you have or I have or someone has that's like, it's something you can always work on and improve and like never feel like you get there that keeps you going. And then you're like, oh, shoot. And then like, how much money? <laughs> and I'm watching like other productions and this and that and it's, it's like the same I have this very like deep habit it's like the video game timer I have to set a timer but I always go and like try and find like new new entertaining things online like whether it's podcast long format and I'm like very quickly I can tell I'm like not gonna last will last mm-hmm. and then I make like this list and I'm like where are they at? Where are they local? And kind of go through that aspect of it. And if you don't have that, then you definitely won't succeed at whatever you're trying to do. And like, it's very recognizable. So mm-hmm. like when I watch you or Ollie or some of these other guys who like, even I know that it was a, I don't want to bring it up too much. Cause I know it was kind of a, a loss, but like even like Mason, like all the guys that I watch, it's, it's, that's there. There's mm-hmm. gotta be some level of, commitment not because of you know financial yeah or you know i always call it the stuff that goes boom like a car engine you know what i mean because like at this level the only thing you have is 
um, like motivation. Yeah. And stuff like because we're not getting like especially on the amateur side, you're not making anything. Right. I mean, besides like a ticket sales and stuff like that, but even then, that's not that much money. Right. You're still doing then, landscape. Yeah. Right. Like I still have to have another job. Yeah. So obviously, like the motivation is like still there, and that that motivation is not gonna just go away. No. Like if anything, like when I got like my first check for my my profile, I was like. Oh. I want to. I want another check. Yeah. I want to keep doing this. You're like, let's rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. It's just like, but you're pro check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're all right. You're like, things are starting to pan out. Yeah. And then if you have, I think, and again, back to Zach, that's where he really like, the way he does it with you guys is what I just described with finding that. It's like, we have to find that motivation, see if it's a solid base. And if it isn't solid, then he's either going to go mm-hmm. or it's where he's going to stay and learn about like that motivation. Like it's either going to stay or go. Yeah. And that was something that's again, super, super vital with all of you guys that I recognized very quickly. I was like, there are people same with Josh, same with Blake. Um, the photographer, I guess his Micah. Yeah. I think yeah, Micah, yeah, yeah. Like the commitment to even dude, I have two cameras right here. The battery died mm-hmm. and it was full. And I'm like, now I need to buy the thing that goes in. So I'm going to worry about the battery. And, making sure that everything's right to get that light just correct. And mm-hmm. it's it's just a level of commitment to something that you, I think it's just the idea of never perfecting it. Like, I don't really feel like, like when I said I have it dialed in, mm-hmm. thank you, God, by the way. <laughs> he's It's like, beep, and the camp battery dies. But there's got to be something stronger to motivate you, and then the rest shows up. Mm-hmm. So, like, if, the, if the, it's positive, and, like, I just want to do good for you guys, for this, Then it goes from being something that might have been just selfish and like, I just want to talk Mm -hmm. to like, I'm really having a good time doing this. And then that leads to other things to grow and build and just like Mm -hmm. you guys with your career. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And it's, it's, it's super, it's super cool to still have the same like concept to you guys because even then three years ago, I was like, wow, these guys are good. Like, (laughs) I'm going to be like them. I want to do all this stuff. And it's just, it's so hard not to be around it. Yeah. And I shared, did you see at all that thing that I shared on Facebook that was like Sam commented on it? It Um, was like 11 things you should know before you're 22 or something. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, there's something someone could pull from this. And then it just started a fire. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm like, it was the, yeah, there was a lot of comments under that. I was like, you know, I thought these were pretty straightforward. Yeah. It was like, hey, and of course, Sam's like, except for number seven. And it was like <laughs> the weed the, the one. Weed one. Yep, yep. He was like, except for number seven. <laughs> and I was like, you know, it's just I've never, never done it. Never. Yeah, no, that's just like, that's just up to like your own, uh, your own preference. And then like with some people that can have a a, a bad effect on their life too. Yeah. And whatnot. And like with others, like personally, I do it all the time. I it helps it helps me with training. Yeah. Because like my body is so sore all the time. And that just gives me some kind of relief. Yeah. And even like between icing and stretching and You're a tall all, guy, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, like, like, um, it, like aches and it's aches and pains. And then I'm landscaping all day too. And like it, it's just hard on my body. Yeah. So like that instead of taking ibuprofen every every single day killing my liver and yeah stuff, i can just do that and like it doesn't negatively affect my life right so it's not going to cause anything bad to happen granted and you have a you you just described the perfect headspace to make sure that's okay yes exactly you that's, like that's the part because like i have been in that headspace where it affects you negatively and then you start getting lazy and you don't want to do anything and you don't accomplish anything like that and i feel like when i can get things accomplished and stuff like that and i feel good to go and then i do that and then i smoke or something like that then i'm like it just feels like life's continuing on and it feels yeah good it feels easy it feels like i just i'm not worrying about everything and that i think that's a universal thing too it could be anything it could be alcohol it could yeah. be n- nicotine pouches it's yeah. like it's that headspace to regulate and monitor yourself mm-hmm. and like i said i did not think that that was going to be a firestorm, but the cool, <laughs> the cool thing about it, dude, I got to the, it was to the point where they were like, oh, so you'd rather believe successful people than Jesus. And I'm like, no, and that's not what I'm saying at all. That's not yeah, even close. You're, you're missing the point. I was like, it, and again, everyone was just like, 
if they're not in a headspace like you, Sam, all the guys that I just described in this circle, then you're going to take it and be like, you're insulting me. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not. I'm trying to motivate you on a Monday. Right. And you're probably hating like going, you're at like lunch. Hating, and like, yeah. Hating your job or hating, hating the way your day started or whatever. It's like, come on, dude. Like, it's all you. Like, you have to look yeah. at that. So just stop be, being negative. You're just being negative. Yeah. And then, and then I had people, they were like, oh, so you got new groups of people around. You got new friends, huh? You got new this. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, yes. But yeah. also like, it's just a different area. It's a different atmosphere. It's, yeah. it's, it feels much healthier over here. Join, like, yeah, come, come over, over this here. Side. Yeah, come over here. They're like, no, I'm going to listen to Jesus. I'm like, me too, but I'm over here. So like, whatever you want to do. You don't do. got to be negative about it. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, so you're saying weed is bad. It's actually very beneficial. And they're like, studies. And then I start sharing it. And I'm like, yeah, of course. If you have, I'm not comparing someone who like goes down, you know, Kansas City, and they're like, "Ah, oh, cool, I could grab some of that." Yeah. And they're walking to a person who is having seizures 24 seven. That's that's up here. That's that's you, man. Like yeah. that's that's up there. Yeah. And like just to be a in this group is is something that Zach pulled out. Like I said, he really tries to find where that motivation is. Mm-hmm. Like, is it going to stay? Is it going to last? Is it going to funnel into something else? And it, it you, I'm still shocked that a little simple interaction with him three years ago, like led to everything that's happening now. Yeah. And it's the same thing. It's like, maybe you learn something in class or you learn something in, you know, Oh, I never thought of transitioning that way, mm-hmm. but it didn't, maybe it didn't stick. Cause it was a lot going on that day, but you still learned it. And then the opportunity shows up like 60 days later, like two months, three months, whatever. I think I'm quoting Austin, Austin Ford. I think I was watching his Instagram and he's like, he has maybe, a lot of cool videos. Yeah, he's like, maybe day lot. 90 it shows up. Yeah. But you learned that 90 days ago. Mm-hmm. Great. Maybe you learned something the day before that that's going to show up tomorrow. Yeah. Like, you don't know. It's just yeah. that consistent headspace to be there and funnel it into. He's he's in Texas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. There's something that. Okay. If I had, I was thinking about it. If I had enough, let the passion side with like money follows, mm-hmm. like. Okay, great. We're making some cash in this room. Okay, let's say that's uh, it is it is happening. Not right now, but um, I had this desire. I was like, you know, it'd be fucking cool to just pack up in an RV that we bought, <laughs> drive to like Texas and around these places, and be like, look who it is, and then just like you know, <laughs> on you have, the road podcast. Someone's filming. Like Mike is filming the whole thing. It's not. It's content. It's podcast. It's all the stuff mm-hmm. that can be put together. That's way more entertaining than regular tv yeah and it could be super short and not shallow and mm-hmm. i'm like oh that's it like that idea that's still in there that, i want that so bad so guess who's gonna get it like, <laughs> it's just yeah just, i don't know if i'm just upset at the people who got offended by a motivational <laughs> monday post or like they clearly how do you, were you get there yeah how do you get to a bad like i know i just don't get it and I, I think I just w- was like blessed early on to not be in that zone mm-hmm. and then like finally be brought into. And I think there's a point where I don't know if we talked about anything like vulnerable, but like before I started doing this stuff and going to see you guys and Zach and like learning how to fight, it was a very vulnerable, negative space. It wasn't like I'm going to get in the cage. It was like I'm terrified because I feel small and like a lot of insecure stuff. And as I started to like learn the small blocks that build up to like a skyscraper, Mm -hmm. I'm like, those go away. Oh yeah. That negative side goes away. And it's like, I just don't think that that's something that people will not get exposed to. Like they probably do. It's just, if you're not there to like see it, you don't have the right glasses on. Mm -hmm. You're going to miss it every time. Oh yeah. And I don't know. Was there ever... Was there ever any of those spots? I don't know um, if I've ever we got into. I mean, it. yeah. I mean, like when like when I first started training and stuff like that, like like self confidence wise was not like I was not self confident in all. That, in and myself. again, that's hard for me to actually feel. I'm like, you got you know, you got Nikes, you got all the attire, I, you're like, you're good, <laughs> you know, like like tall I, dude. I, like I I couldn't I didn't know how to like in in that room like oh I was like a really good rugby player and stuff but when I step in that room it's like oh I like I know nothing yeah compared to these people and like I didn't know how to throw a punch like Zach had to teach me from the ground up how to throw a punch 
like even more insane uh, right and like and it, it's actually crazy kind of look, to look back and like look how far like um, probably coming up on five years wow or so and um like five years ago like not knowing anything but now i'm like like i like i know quite a bit and there's still a lot more to learn you're a professional and, yeah i'm a professional now and it's cra crazy to look back on that but um, yeah, no, there's definitely like negative aspects, especially like when I had first started, I was coming from like a job that was like a sales job and I was told no over the phone every single day. Yeah. And that like just indirectly puts you into a, a bad mind space when you just have like when you're trying to accomplish something and someone's just repeatedly telling you no, 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 no. Yeah. But then when I got in there. I was like, I separated myself from that job, f fully f went in on MMA. And I, like, I did that like day night kind of thing all the time. Yeah. And I just like door dashed right. just, just to pay the bills. And I was like, I just want to focus on this because this is actually something that is uh, making a positive in my life. Yeah. And then that just only grew, like you were saying, like building blocks. It just grew into something. I mean, the uh, an amazing way because now it's like, it must feel good. I'll ask you, does it feel good to be like, oh, you're a professional now? It's, it's, it feels good. And it just also feels like weird. Yeah. <laughs> like really weird. Cause it? like, like, like at, at the UFC fights, um, I was, uh, we had uh, suite tickets. Oh. So we were in the suites. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy. Look at you. Well, that was only because my mom's, uh, so my stepdad's buddy's buddy owns a suite there oh, at sweet. the T-Mobile Center. I just so, said sweet. <laughs> he owns but, a suite. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Contempt my bed. But yeah, so uh, we we were able to get like tickets for like 75 bucks. Oh, dude. So nice. Yeah. So compared to the 300, two, 250. That's insane. Yeah, I was any, looking at him. I'm like, that's around. way up. I've been to Sprint Center. I'm like, that's way up there. I'm like 325. Like, uh, yeah um because i was almost i was like man i'd just rather watch it on tv if i was just gonna sit up that high yeah you're basically watching it on the tv there's yeah. tvs in it. It, that's the worst I, w I went to watch kevin hart there oh okay way in the back guess who i basically watched kevin hart special that would be on netflix like less than a year later there like watching tv <laughs> i'm watching the tv and he's right here because he's so small yeah and i was going to say like you could barely see him anyway time i look down i go like this <laughs> This sucks. And I look back up the TV and I go, all right. And I realize I'm like, at the end, I was like, that's a fun memory to have. But also I just watched him on oh, television yeah. for like 250 bucks. <laughs> Gosh. I was like, yeah. it's going to be on Netflix free. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, again, I really wanted to, how was that card by the way? It was really good. It, it was? was really good. And actually what, like, what I was getting at is my, uh, like, so that friend of uh, the friend, who like invited us all there and stuff. Uh, he's a big MMA fan and like all his friends that were there and stuff like that, he would like introduce me like, Oh, he's a pro fighter. And this I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pro fighter. Yeah, it's, <laughs> Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, like, it's like, Oh yeah, I guess this is kind of how it is now. <laughs> like how to <laughs> yeah. be introduced to people like, Oh, he's a pro fighter. Like, like, yep. It's like, it's, it's also that that's, that's a humble thing to have. Yeah. You weren't just yeah. like, you bet I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I don't, I also just don't want to be like that. Cause I don't want to be like, sound like, be like that douchebag. That's like, yeah, I'm a pro fighter, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, like, yeah. yeah, I'm a pro fighter. Like, I mean, it's not like the only thing about me, but yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's like my career, but you know, I play, I used to play rugby. Yeah. I like, another thing. I'm a nice guy too. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I even did it. Actually. I just did it. And I, like, I play rugby. <laughs> Like you're like yeah I'm like a cool guy though and they're like yeah but not pro too, fighter right <laughs> not too nice though <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah no uh, yeah that's how the that kind of is it's a little weird but it's you know it's cool though um, but yeah no, those the fights were freaking awesome it how, was is it, that sweet level like you can like you can see oh yeah like, yeah like the, it's so like uh, have you been to cable Dahmer and seen the FAC fights yes. So, do you know, like, where the, um, like, kind of, like, where they have all the electronics going around the ring? Yeah. Kind of. So, there's, even at FAC, they have suites there, too. 
Okay. And uh, they're just right above that. So, like, imagine that, but, like, at the T-Mobile Center. So, like, we were, like, right. Oh, up, wow. Right kind of, like, in the middle, I guess. So, like, we had, like, a pretty good view of the cage. Like, we could see down into it pretty much. That's perfect. And see the yeah. whole thing and whatnot. Like, we didn't really – like, you could look at the skirt, like, the – screens that they had on the jumbotrons mm -hmm. and whatnot but i mean you could look at the cage and be like oh, it's i can see just as much even like at synergy when you're not like so we were like i said we were right there yeah and even then i was still like that's way better than being there uh -huh. which is like a few feet back in the vip rows yeah and i'm like yeah but i can still like all the crosses of the cage i'm mm -hmm. still missing pieces and like so, even in those, those little stadium seats in GA that they have there, like you get a really good view. Yeah, I was gonna say so, those guys way because they, they weren't like right behind us there. Yeah, they would. That was blank. It was like all up, uh -huh. and I'm like, oh, because they can see down. Yeah, they see down into it, and I'm like, that's that's good. Mm -hmm. I there's I got spoiled because on my first FAC, I'd been training at OP for like a couple months, and I just had the the gear on. And I thought that the tickets you had were where you had to sit. So mm -hmm. our GA was like way in the corner. Yeah. And I'm like, I try and it's like when Lucas was coming up and like his first fight was that time. And then, you know, he had uh, Gomi was there and I could see him down by the like VIP down there. Yeah. And during the first intermission, I went down. I was like, hey guys, what's up? They're like, where are you sitting? We're like way up there. And they go, fuck that. They go, just sit right here. And there was like that whole rows, no one's in there. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, no, that's, like, one thing people don't know at FAC. Like, you can, if you have, like, a GA ticket, mm -hmm. you can kind of just sit wherever. Yeah, I was, I like, mean, like, you have, I... like, like, I mean, if someone's, like, if you're in, like, a good spot and stuff and someone has an actual ticket for that seat, yeah, then you'll have to kind of get up and yeah. move. But, I mean, you can essentially kind of sit wherever. Like, I mean, just every every time I go, I just, I sit in a new spot. Yeah, well, it's also, like, like Back then it was COVID. They were like limiting capacity. Oh, so yeah. So I'm, like, I'm looking around like, there's all opening. And I was mm -hmm. like this, but I don't know. So I'm going to use the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, never mind. Yeah. But yeah, it was, Um, I think it was, it was Mason who was like, do it. Just sit there, man. Yeah. I'm like, all right. So I was very spoiled because then after that, I was like, these tickets suck. Mm -hmm. Like, I love that these guys are fighting, but I'm also like. <laughs> Way far away. Yeah. And I'm having to like watch as they get to the corners. I'm like. And actually, the suite tickets at FAC, because I've sat up there in the suites at FAC. You're a professional fighter. <laughs> <laughs> that that was way before. That was way before. But we we were just lucky enough. Uh, one of the guys from the gym, uh, I think he helps out with the promotion or whatever. He uh, got. Uh, he just I don't know if he bought one suite or he just had like a set of suite tickets, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Hey, if you can get like enough people." Or whatever, I'll give them all. I give them you. So we just got like a group from our gym, and we're just sitting up there oh, and like, super nice. Like honestly, best view in FAC is on the suites. Well, and like the, you, you the literally yeah. look down into the cage. You can't beat it. Yeah, no, you can't beat that. Because you're like, I don't have to watch for anything. Yeah. All yeah. yeah. oh, right. And then the jumbotrons are just right there too. Yeah. So they're like nice and big. You can see every little detail. You were like, I'm a professional fighter. Let me just sit back and watch. That. <laughs> but um. But no, the, another thing was all the, the people, like I said, I want to shout out Chris and Zach um, with Synergy. I don't know the people at FAC. Mm. I don't know that who puts who puts that on. I think the uh, Joe Wooster is the, I think he's the main promoter. Okay. Well, they're all relatively like guys that are yeah, they're, awesome, they're humble Well, dude. they're all with associated with the gyms and stuff like that. I mean, they're more associated with Glory. Gotcha. But um, yeah. I mean, they're they're all well enough associated and whatnot. So I mean, that's why all, all our guys get on there. It's 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 also a good it's reflection nice. of yeah. the it trickles down. Yeah, because it's also if the promotion has these guys who are who also care about you and like the career to watch. Like Chris was there and he was like, "I love matching this stuff up." Yes, I loved, and it's like when it's the same the thing we talked about it the same orientation of like, what do you want, and it's positive and it's like i'll always get to this and then the next one the next one and when you have that layer with like the coolest dudes i've ever met it's like that leads to a good promotion and yeah. a good base for you guys yeah, um, which exactly. was also reflective of like having shit here like solid and making sure that it's doing well so that way it's like it also reflects 
for you guys well. Yeah. Because if you have a shitty guy who's running this promotion or it's yeah, it's, it's, oh, gonna, it's just it's I've, heard, I've, down. I've heard stories like of oh this promotion was awful, and it's like yeah that guy sounds like he's a dickhead. Yeah. Or like it's, I, well, this is I my fought, promotion. I fought an awful promotion in Iowa. I don't even remember the name of it, but they were not um, prepared. For a lot of things, especially for Wayne's, they were not prepared. Like this, like I would even say, like the, I mean, this was back back a few years ago, mm-hmm. so I don't know how much different they are now. I'm sure they're a bit better now. Yeah, but um, if they're still if they're still around, they probably yeah. have to improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even just with the Iowa Athletic Commission, they're a little bit um, not on the ball. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like they didn't even show up to weigh in. Like they were late. <laughs> they were late to weigh ins. You were like, this kind is your thing. guys' thing. You yeah. Like, like, you should be here, I think. Right. And, then, like, even the guy I fought, he didn't even weigh in in the same town as me. He weighed in a different city, like, two hours away. Oh, that checks out. Right. And, but he, he he still weighed over 15 pounds over the weight. Dear limit. God. Yeah. And, I made, and that was, like, my first time actually cutting weight, too. <laughs> and I had to, I cut, like. 10, 15 pounds for that. And I was like, holy crap, that murdered me. Yeah, was that more motivational? You uh, were like, I cut this shit. He's not dedicated. It was. I mean, he ended up beating me uh, that fight. But, I mean, it was, it, it kind of pissed me off. And I think it almost, like, threw me out of uh, the proper headspace because I was so upset. Yeah. And whatnot. That that would throw you. It's like, I mean, damn, I did all that work and you just kind of, like, screwed me over. You took my and, 15 pounds, asshole. Right. You like, you right. Have I, the- I, I, I didn't even need to cut weight. Yeah, and then I had to cut weight, but I mean, I guess good practice for cutting weight and whatnot. Yeah. But now I don't have a problem with it. Now it's just easy. Like right now, I'm ha- I'm having trouble keeping the weight on. Yeah, it just kind of comes off. Like I'm walking around like usually I walk around like 190. I'm like okay. walking around like 84. Dang. Now. Yeah, and then like after practice, I'm like 78, 79. Yeah, you were like so, I'm weighing my. Th- yeah, and like you like usually when I'm like uh like cutting weight, I'll like get down to like. 178 and i'll be like oh my god i'm dying yeah i'm absolutely dying but now i'm like 170 after practice and i'm like this is just feels like i just got a good sweat out yeah kind of thing so now i'm like man i could even make 55 if i really tried but i'd probably kill myself (laughs) (laughs) i'd probably have to go to the hospital he's going to 150 (laughs) god that'd be (laughs) off i'd be the i'd be the skittiest 155 on the planet it wouldn't even be worth it i'd be i'd be so just weak you're the 155 like alex Pereira. oh god (laughs) i remember i heard i heard his stats and i was like he can't do that much longer at all he's like all right 185 and then he's like 219 i'm like what right you serious because like when he fought uh kickboxing at glory he uh i think he fought at like 187 Okay. I think that was the weight class was 187. That's still insane. Yeah. And he's still cutting that much weight even from 187. It's but. just not it's just not a good overall. It's just not good for your health. Yeah. Like to do it that extreme. Mm-hmm. And I'm like I get it, but also like I mean, just, he's getting paid good money for it though. Just so. go 205. Yeah. <laughs> just do yeah. 205. Like you there But I mean like, if he can get I mean if he can get down there and he's not and he's not feeling bad, yeah. like why not? You know, it's true. Like, again, that's a take the take the the weight advantage and stuff like that. It's true when you can. It's, it's again, that's just all up to you if you can and your coaches to be yeah. like, hey, dude, like we're in serious trouble. But again, there's also a good part of a good coach is to be like, I like to use Dillashaw mm-hmm. when he went to 125 and then he popped for the thing. Yeah, you're like, hey, man, you. Like they, I think they were very clear. Like it's not good. Your health is terrible. You can't go that low. And he's like, I'm gonna do it. Like it, there's also that attitude to you guys. It's like, fuck yeah. Like it's a horse with blinders. You're like, yeah. that is the goal. And you were like, yeah, but we're not gonna. We're here to make sure you don't jeopardize your livelihood mm-hmm. on a when, before you even get into the place where you're jeopardizing your livelihood. It's that's part of you know, the team you have around. Yeah. Um. But I'm actually glad. I'm glad that you're not having to do like, like I said. I was like, I wonder. I wonder what his cutting is like. Yeah, like, like I I've, think he's around. He's like I've well. cut. I've cut twenty four, twenty five pounds before. Oh and wow! Yeah, that was for the one amateur fight at Hyvie Arena where I knocked the dude out like really yeah. fast. 
that was enough for that. I was fight. there for that. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, I had to cut a lot of weight for that fight. It was and, it that it was a straight two, wasn't it? That hit him straight mm-hmm. on with, bam. Yeah. yeah, I did a. Uh, uh, I fainted two jabs, and then yep. that drew his kind of reaction out, where he just kind of went like, like his arms move forward. So that just allowed my two to go. Yeah. Right did you over go over the hand outside or did you go down the middle? It was down it was down the middle, but it went over his hand, if that makes sense. So he kinda yeah, like yeah. moved his hand. He went in, to go like block. Yeah. Down. He went to kind of block with like with his hands out. Mm-hmm. Cause the jabs made him like go, oh. And then the two just kind of came over his hand. Yeah. But it was still straight down the pipe though. But yeah. Hopefully I can do that in June. In June. So yeah, I'm looking forward nice. to it, man. I really yeah. am. I really want to I also want to I love bringing guys who like want to watch some like really good people mm-hmm. and i'm like i got more tickets <laughs> like i'm always like i'm Here always that guy. i'm always like i don't know why in my mind it's always like a flip phone it's like <laughs> there we go it's like we got them and they're like oh me me and i'm having to like we got one two three and then a day later i'm like i need six more <laughs> like, it's just good it's good to, oh yeah it's good to know that i'm also spreading the good vibes that way oh, yeah um so well, let's let's get into. I don't know when these things die. We already had this one die. Yeah. But um, you go ahead and talk about the June seventeenth. Yeah, June seventeenth. Like Memorial the promotion. Hall Synergy. Memorial Hall, um, right over here. Yeah, just yeah, right over there. Over that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. I don't. I don't know which way this building's facing. But <gasps> it's over there. Dude, yeah. I think. I, when is it? Do you, is there a time? Like when it starts? Probably six. I would assume six or seven. Looks like we're having a pre-party. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, not you guys. You got to. Well, yeah. No, we got to. We got to get in the mindset. Yeah. But no, we'll party just, afterward. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a short walk. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the, when you guys first did it over there. I was like, "Where is Memorial Hall?" And I looked it up, and it goes, "Oh man, twelve minutes." And then I go, "Oh, that's walking." And I was like, <laughs> I shifted. I go, two minutes." I'm like, "Follow the road." I get out there. I go, "Oh, there it is." I was like. Yeah, yeah, no, no one has to drive. I have a parking lot. You guys are fine. <laughs> they all just parked here and we walk. Oh, perfect. So, so we'll definitely be there for sure. Hell yeah. But no, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to be there. And yeah, I think we'll do something. I think I'll make that happen. Hell yeah. That's no Hell problem. Yeah, we have, no one's in here. Like, in that time. <laughs> like, the whole place is ours. Oh, yeah. Um, but no, I'm excited for, for your growth. I'm excited oh, yeah. that, you know, we, it was nice to always talk to that person who has like that first amateur fight or that first pro fight Mm -hmm. and to see where it's at. And I'm like, I knew he'd have good shit. (laughs) You know, you're a awesome, healthy, like mentally focused dude. And I'm blessed to know you, brother. Thank you, bro. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, man. I appreciate you having me on. I think it'll cut. This will come out like when Wednesday, Wednesday, I think I'll have this Wednesday. So sweet. Plenty of time. Get that stuff out there and then get with me or Trisha for tickets, of course. Oh yeah. Um, I want to work with them to like, Maybe have some kind of a link so that way if they do go to it and they see it, they can like yeah, get there quicker I'm, instead of I'm something. Sure, I think it's just the Synergy website. The I website? That's yeah. True. I mean, they usually put out a link. I need to start doing that more, actually. I think I'm going to start putting it in my, like, my bio on my Instagram. Yeah, very helpful. Stuff. That way they can yeah. just be like, oh, that's where it goes. Got yeah, because like a lot of the times like I can't like run tickets to people and stuff like that or like they just live too far away or it's just it's scheduling conflicts. Yeah, they can Even just go on there. and, and There it goes. It. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> but no, Trish, I'm thanks, brother. Yeah, no. I'll make sure that you. we send it all that way. Oh, yeah, sweet. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Boom.